So with everything going on, Euro 2020 has been postponed. We won't get the major tournament until next summer, when weirdly it'll still be called Euro 2020. But whatever, it was set to be an extravaganza of footballer, taking place all over Europe. But how would England have done at the tournament? Well, using Football Manager, we're going to find out. However, we're first going to do it on Football Manager 2015 and see what the game predicted for the tournament five years ago. Before we go any further, I'm just going to look at England in this video, but if you'd like to see a full video on the whole tournament, let me know down in the comments below. First things first, England did qualify for the competition and it's still set to take place all over Europe, which I was surprised by, although I forget how long these tournament destinations are announced in advance. And who was it that guided England to the finals? No, it wasn't Gareth Southgate, it was actually the real-life Manchester United boss, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who's been England manager ever since Roy Hodgson got the boot following Euro 2016. Christ, imagine if Oli was England manager. Anyway, the three lines were drawn in Group G, up against France, Czech Republic and Wales. Some tricky games, but a group we should be qualifying from. And qualify we did, coming second after beating the Welsh, the Czechs, then losing to France. That meant we came runners-up in the group, setting up our knockout tie with our biggest rivals, Germany and the weird team of regents for some reason, as the German national team is never a real group of players on Football Manager, I've no idea why. Sadly for England, this is where the Euro 2020 dream died, falling with a 3-0 defeat inside Hampton Park. So not only did they lose to the Germans and get knocked out, they did it in Scotland of all places. Weirdly, England played every game in the tournament at Hampton Park, despite Wembley being one of the listed stadiums. Anyway, back to the game, let's talk to who Solskjaer picked for this horrible, horrible game. In goal was Joe Hart. God, just imagine if Joe Hart was England's number one for the actual tournament, would have no chance. But on FM15, they still think Hart will be England's number one at the Euros, with the emergence of Jordan Pickford never really happening. And Nick Pope, he's a derby, never even played in the Premier League. But Hart did okay in this game against Germany, getting a rating of 7.2 despite picking the ball out of his net three times. Right back was John Stones. Okay, this is kind of realistic. John Stones will surely be an England player when the tournament comes around next summer, even if his City career isn't something of a crossroads. He's a Gareth Southgate player, able to play up on the back, kind of. But I doubt he'll be right back, but that's where Ollie had him, and it's where he always plays on FM15. Either way, he was terrible in this game, getting a rate of just 6.3. Then in the 74th minute, he was replaced by Callum Chambers, who unsurprisingly did not inspire a comeback. Centre-back was Phil Jones. Ouch, I mean, this explains things. Or does it? Because weirdly, Football Manager 2015 predicted Phil Jones to have a much more impressive career, and at the heart of England's defence, he was actually one of their best players in this defeat to Germany. However, he would go off with an injury in the 82nd minute, which was a little bit of an issue for Solskjaer, considering he'd already made his three substitutes. Going down to 10 men didn't really matter though, as England were already 3-0 down to the Germans when Jones had to depart. He was alongside Stephen Corker. Christ, Football Manager got this very wrong. If Cork is in the England squad for the Euros next summer, I'll leave this channel for good. He's actually a top class player in the simulation though, a rock at the back for Arsenal, meaning his England selection was never in doubt. The only other option England had on the bench was Ryan Shawcross, a man whose real life three lines career was ruined in one night by Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Left back was Matt Target. The summer of 2020 was pretty incredible for Matt Target according to Football Manager 2015. First he was England's main left back at the Euros ahead of Luke Shaw, then halfway through the tournament he got a big move to Chelsea. Whereas in the real world he's nowhere near the England squad, the Euros have been postponed, and Target has just sat waiting to be told he can return to football and try and keep Aston Villa in the Premier League. Right midfield was Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Yes, England are playing 4-4-2, just how former boss Mike Bassett intended. Chamberlain will likely be a part of Southgate's England squad next summer, providing he stays fit, as it was clear we kind of missed him at the 2018 World Cup a couple of years ago. Uh, that was a much more beautiful time, wasn't it? Anyway, the Ox was unable to influence things against the Germans, but he did play the full 90, as Solskjaer only had one option on the bench, and that was Damari Gray, who for some reason was wearing the number 2 shirt. It's becoming very clear why we didn't win this tournament. Centre midfield was Jordan Henderson. The England captain according to Football Manager 2015, Hendo was England's best player on the day against Germany, with Footy Manager 15 correctly predicting the 2020 boom of Jordan Henderson. Despite England's failures, the Liverpool man had a wonderful Euros, although it wasn't enough to make the team of the tournament. He was alongside Jack Wilshere. Ah, little Jack Wilshere, just where did it all go wrong? Well, it was when the injuries started mounting up, really, that's where. A few years ago, a midfield duo of Henderson and Wilshere was seen as the future, but right now, it couldn't be any further away from the truth. 
On FM, Wilshire is a lot better than in the real world, as rather than just sitting in the West Ham's physio's room, he's actually a Man City player, and someone who can really influence a game from the middle of the park. England had other options in the middle, mainly James Ward-Prowse. Nathaniel Shalaba was at the Euros too, although he didn't play a single minute. Left wing was Raheem Sterling. When the Euros do eventually kick off, Raheem Sterling is going to be one of, if not our best player, a true talisman at a time when England need one. While on FM15 he's not quite hit the same heights as in reality, but he's still an important player for the three lines. However, he had a poor European Championships and was replaced in the 74th minute by a man who will no doubt never play for England in the real world, and that man is Josh Murphy. You know, the lad who's at Cardiff. His twin joined Newcastle a few years back. Both of them aren't really up to the standard in the Premier League. Yeah, him. I've no idea why Josh Murphy was even in the England squad, especially when the likes of Deli Alley have never even had a single cap on the simulation. Up front was Rod Turner. We mentioned him in our West Ham 2020 episode. Rod Turner is a regen who has made waves in FM, getting into the England squad after a sensational year on loan at West Ham from Man United. He made his debut off the bench against France in the group, then started his first ever game in the knockout round against Germany. Christ, that's some baptism of fire. He failed to make an impression, unable to get his first England goals and take the three lines to glory. And finally, he was alongside James Wilson. Yes, the hopes of the nation were pinned on the shores of a lad who in reality plays for the League 2 for Salford. Wilson was once a hot prospect at Man United, and FM15 predicted he would blossom into something of a star, actually scoring three times at the Euros for England en route to their exit. If they'd gone any further, he might even have won the Golden Boot. Harry Kane was an unused substitute, despite scoring twice at the tournament. It's almost as if Solskjaer had wanted England to lose. Then again, at least Kane wasn't taking corners. So that's England at Euro 2020 according to Football Manager 2015. Let us know what you think in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we'll see you around.